this lesson, we're going to take a look at using the spell check functionality in BricsCAD. And the first thing that I'm going to do is on the Tools menu, I'm going to select Check Spelling. This will present the Spell Checking dialog box. And the next thing that I'm going to do is click the Change Dictionaries button. Now, depending upon the version of BricsCAD you're running, you may indeed have to set your custom dictionary. So you notice here that the custom dictionary is currently blank. If this remains blank, you're not going to be able to add any uh, new words to your dictionary. So located in the folder where your data sets for this course were installed, there is a CAD dictionary.cus file. I'm going to select that and open it and click apply and close. And now I've configured my custom dictionary. So next thing that we're going to do is click Start. And you'll notice that the first word it finds is Perlins. If we look down in the context area, we can locate that word. It's actually in the second note. And this is indeed a correct spelling. So this is an example of a word we want to add to our custom dictionary. So as soon as I do that, it moves to the next word it finds or locates. In this case, DIA, which is an abbreviation for diameter. Again, this is a word we want to add to our current or custom dictionary. So I'm going to click the Add button. Next, it locates the word SDWW. And this is an abbreviation that we do not want to add to our custom dictionary. So I'm going to choose the Ignore button. Now, as soon as I do that, it's going to move to the next word that it finds. And in this case, it's the word the has been misspelled. So we're going to select the first suggestion and click the Change button. Then it finds the next instance of a misspelling for the word prior, in which case we want to change that as well. Then we get a message indicating the spell checking has been completed. Go ahead and click OK. Or let's click the Change Dictionary button. And here we can see the two words that were added to our custom dictionary. I'm going to go ahead and click Apply and Close. And then click Cancel. And this completes our lesson on using spell checking in BricsCAD.